I've been watching a lot of fraternity court and a lot of couples court. And because I see a lot of guys do this in relationships. Why do men avoid communication? It's not that we're trying to skip something. What is it? It's just that it's either we understand or we don't understand. And we talk until we get to the point where we understand and then we don't want to talk anymore. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I don't even know what my glasses look like. Do they look good with this? They look good, yeah. I, li I think so. What do you guys think? I gotta see. Might be able to get away with this. Okay. <laughs> Anyways guys, welcome back to our channel. I hope we've got dishes washed in the background. Hope you can't hear that. But today I have a fun video that Aaron here is going to be a part of. Did you introduce yourself? I did. My name is Aaron, guys, and I'm, I'm her husband. Okay. So this is basically a tag. It's going to be asking a guy questions girls are afraid to ask. Okay. Sounds are interesting. You, are you nervous? I'm a little nervous, guys. Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous from the get-go. Let's, let's get to it, though. Okay. Just be yourself. What are you the most nervous about? I don't, answering I, things. I have no idea what the questions are. <laughs> That's the whole point. That's what makes it fun. So, they're, they're questions that you guys are nervous to ask in yeah. the first place. So, these must be some like, taboo, taboo questions. Perhaps they are. Okay. okay, so I have five questions that I'm going to ask. I have a bit more. I just don't know how lengthy this video is going to be. Okay. So, <laughs> who's just going to jump into it? They're going to be kind of random. Okay, let's do it. I feel like if you guys want to see more of this, we can do one specific to, you know, the specific topics. There are specific ones that one could do. All right. But I'm just going to do some random ones for now. So the first one is, how do it, how do you know that a guy is into you? Espe and I'm going to do it with a twist, especially if he's quiet. How do I, how do you know if a quiet guy is into, is into you? you? Yeah. Uh, you'll catch him. I think you'll catch him looking at you and then yeah. avoiding eye contact after. Like if you look at him and you see that he was actually looking at you, then he's going to look away. Okay. Oh wow. Like I feel like isn't there more than that? Because I'm sure your eye okay. will catch another a woman. Another in, time, in... a quiet guy, I think he'll, um, he'll be a little nervous when you're talking to him. Like he'll give some nervous cues when oh, you're talking okay. to him. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Like, like he might stumble over words or I just, I'm just wanna, trying to think and I just want to put it out there that we're not any we're not experts we're just this is just a tag that's out there and I thought it would be fun to do and these are just we're just sharing things I guess maybe from our own experiences our own our these are our own thoughts opinions on this matter so sure because I mean I think other guys that are not like pretty like extrovert I think they're gonna make it known that they're into you right they're gonna yeah. be like so uh huh. We're starting off easy, and then we're getting to the hard stuff. That was actually a, kind of a tough question because I'm is. trying to get into the it's, minds of other men. It's a basic question. It's a basic question because it occurs before, like even their relationship. So, kind of adding to that, what makes a girl like marriage material? I think that's that's probably different for a lot of guys. <laughs> That's probably really different for a Don't lot of guys. Don't you think, like, isn't there, like, a standard? Don't guys, every guy want, like, a similar thing? Uh, I don't know. It's, that's, a, that's a good question. I think the one thing that some guys might like is that a woman is not too materialistic, right? If, she, if you know, she's very materialistic, I think, um, like, she might have expensive habits, right? That she might be able to support. Maybe you can support, maybe you can't support, maybe you don't want to support. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Okay. For you, for I, me. I think materialism, uh, religion, and I think also just... What about, like how, what about how, personality? How, like, what about, like... Oh, well, this is about... I thought this is about is like, someone who's dating someone. No, but that's the point. Like, what makes them ma marriage material? Like, we're talking... You're talking about, like, actual, like, stuff, stuff, but how do you even determine if they're marriage material? Like, there aren't... there. <laughs> prerequisites uh, you know aren't there things that I, I think w one thing that any guy has to ask themselves uh, when they're when they're thinking about marriage material is can I be with this person every day can I be with this person every single day mm -hmm. and if the answer is no 
There you have it. She's not marriage material. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I think that's a pretty. That's a that's a that's a bar. If you can't think about seeing that person every single day, mm -hmm. don't marry him. <laughs> Do not marry them. What about like sense of humor or kind? Oh, in terms of in terms of personality, I I think that's all relative to the person, right? Like to the guy. Okay. Right, like because that's pretty subjective, right? Like what kind of sense of humor they have. Yeah, how kind they are, um, if they really want a good-looking person, or if they really think they value the character more, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Absolutely. People will find a girl that's really funny, and other guys might find her really annoying. That's just the way mankind works. Or I guess so. Humankind. Humankind works. Right? Okay. So, those kinds of things are really subjective. Okay. I think you, if you find someone that... You like, you like their sense of humor. You like their personality. Um, I think that's really important, right? And if you can see yourself with them every day, I think those two things really are pretty important. Question number three. Because I see a lot of guys do this in relationship. I've been watching a lot of fraternity court and a lot of couples court. And she has. why do men avoid communication? Why do they avoid communication? You mean verbal communication? They just don't like to communicate. Okay, why? Men, men communicate. How? They just communicate very succinctly. And Break that word down for the folks. We communicate uh, rather quickly. Uh-huh. Right? Right, or guys? Or rather... Like, we, we, <laughs> skip, I don't know. We I, skip I, over I, all of this. <laughs> No, it's not that we're trying to skip something. What is it? It's just that it's either we understand or we don't understand. And we talk until we get to the point where we understand. And then we don't want to talk anymore. Right? We, we, we understand what happened, the results and consequences, and what's going to happen. And, and then we should be able to, you know... Move on. Move on and... and uh, you know, have some milk and cookies or something. I, no, I'm just saying like... Wow. Reward. Reward yourself. <laughs> Reward. <laughs> you know, sit down okay. for dinner and, and enjoy the rest of the day. Wow. So what about your partners on the other hand? I, I, think, I think women need to talk things out a little bit more. Like, I think men probably communicate three times as quickly or desire to communicate no it's, more, as it's not as quickly it's like yeah they communicate three times as less maybe 30 times 30 as times less, less. Okay. so well, 30 times 30 times less so guys come conversations that we want to last like five minutes i think women would prefer that they last like an hour okay guys so the camera died and we are back at it again i think we were ending off with the communication part and i was saying that you guys should leave a comment down in the in the comment section about your experience with mail and communication. Okay, so moving on to a rather juicier question, number four. Can guys and girls be just friends? Of course they can. I believe that. I believe that, that guys and girls can be have a platonic relationship, for mm -hmm. sure, 100%. Now, how do you feel about that in marriage, marriage rela relationships? I think that they have to be Share, like a shared friend. Like they have to be friends of both spouses. Like is there right. are you know, relationships get tricky. You get people who have been had their friends and stuff before and they I guess they feel like they're gonna necessarily have them all going into a relationship. And some people manage to somehow because I guess it all depends on the kind of relationship that you want to have. Right? So That's right. Some people's relationship might be more open, but I mean, this is your... I shouldn't be answering. It's your platform. You should be answering. This is my platform. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. I like, I like the response. But my opinion, I think, I think it, it really only works if both husband and wife are friends with that person and have been friends with that person for long enough that they can trust them. That they both feel comfortable. That they both feel comfortable. Right. Okay. Right? So... There you have it, and it's and I mean if that person and if that person who like you're friends with has a partner, it's important to be friends with them too. I think. 
And right. why and why do you think that is? So you you know, don't exclude that person in the friendship. Or, you know, at least them understanding what's going on and who you are. Like it just provides like security, I guess. I think so. It provides security. Yeah. But it's very different. You're saying obviously if you're dating because there's not necessarily like a formal commitment. Even no. though some people do take, there are partnerships that are out there, co... Um, oh, the common law? Common law. Jeez. Oh, brain. Yes. Common law relationships mm -hmm. are like that. And, and some people will expect the same kind of treatment in yeah, absolutely. a marriage, marital relationship versus just dating and then there's some that are like uh no these are my friends and i had them before and this That's is right. where they are but i've also spoken to a lot of females in the past who've said like when they get married and stuff they even if they had their like say they were friends with a guy mm -hmm. when they got married they're um as soon as they get the guy gets married that relationship with them is like cut off like it was, and you know, especially in some of those relationships where it's guys and girls and they're like really, really good friends, like really close friends because the female, like the wife doesn't feel comfortable with that kind of close relationship anymore. Sure. And you know what? It's your wife, right? It's, or your, or your, your partner, right? So you're going to make that sacrifice. I'm sure. If it were you. Like if it was me, like I would, I would cut it off. Like I would if say, it were you. I, if it was me and I had a really good friend that was a girl. I'd say, listen, um, it's really important for my wife to not have these kinds of friendships. Uh, and I'm sorry, like, we had a great friendship. Um, but at the moment, we're going to have to, you know, we can't, we can't keep the friendship. I guess a good, a good way to deal with that is to all kind of reflect on it, like if it were you, but in that position. If it were you having to deal to with me having it if it were you having to deal with me having like a male friend that was like a really close friend. How it would make you feel? I wouldn't like it. <laughs> I wouldn't like it. Okay. Can anyway, we should do this in reverse. This would be a good challenge said, to do yeah, in reverse. We should do we should do one eighty on this thing. For sure. Anyways, okay, so we have another question. We have like a bunch of other questions. I think I'm gonna do this in two parts, guys. So if you're enjoying this, stay, stay tuned for part two because part two is going to be more focused on like marriage-based coupled type stuff. And um, yeah, but there's one more question. There is one more question, okay. Question number five, this is kind of random. Thoughts on PDA. What are your thoughts on PDA? Oh, I love PDA when it's me. <laughs> like me giving my wife a kiss in public no problem no problem but seeing other people kiss in public you know what i'm like eh. and well it's I'm not like, even eh. just kissing though that's the thing public display Whoa, like, what is, is not what just what is not, what, are these, what else is it i know but i'm saying there's kissing and then there's also like kissing and that's right <laughs> no no i don't think i don't think that i don't support that like, or you're in the line, you're in a line to get some, I don't know, a burger and there are people making out, making out right in front of you. <laughs> like, don't support it. I, I don't support that. Never did that. Never did that in my life. Don't support that. If someone uh, said, you know, this is what I do. Okay. You know what? Go do it. You know, somewhere Not else. knocking you. Go with not knocking anyone that does it. I'm just saying, can you please, you know, go somewhere a little bit more private to do it. Why do you think people feel the need to be so public know. about their I, display of affection? Because if Sarah did that, I would feel so uncomfortable. I would be like, chick. Like, like and it really depends. Like, if it's at a party, that's a totally different atmosphere. People yeah. expect to be kind of like a little bit... Uh, more uh, loose, not loose, but what like, are you? Yeah, it was because I was gonna say, what party are you speaking about? Like, <laughs> I know, like, I think, I think I was thinking back to like Maybe Sarah and flashback. I flashbacks when you know, when Sarah and I were young, we're no longer young, we're middle aged, sort of babe. Wow, so like, and, and if we went to like a party now, and I don't think we'd be making out anywhere, would we? I don't think that kind of party. I'm not too partial to going to those kind of parties and the parties that you go to. Yeah, you can sit and you can cuddle and you can snuggle, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have my tongue down your throat type party. What, what, what if I was like that 
had like your parents' house. <laughs> 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 would you feel uncomfortable? Um, be like, why is he doing this? And I would feel like, I would feel uncomfortable, guys. Uh, by the way, shout out to my mother and father-in-law. Okay, guys, if you guys are watching this, you know I would never be like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, my parents wouldn't care if we if we snuggled and kissed, but to be like making out, making out, it's just get a it's like get a room. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not necessary. Yeah. So that's it, guys, for these questions. If you want to see, yeah, we can, we can. if you want to see us do a what part, <laughs> part two, and maybe a part three, because I think everyone likes Q and A's and stuff like that. So, yeah, y'all want to see more? They're fun. Leave it down below. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love. Much love.